Oh, take off the uniform, Chris. It's really not that serious. <laughs> Last night, I found myself listening to music that I haven't listened to since before high school. And I found myself writing as I was listening to it. And it's interesting because I think that a lot of, like, repressed emotions just kind of, like surfaced and then the writing started and I was like doing the best that I could to like not judge myself while writing which is actually something that I do um usually so you know just allowing myself to just write is something that I really enjoy doing um despite whatever my mind tries to say to me um despite any of that stuff and the more that I allow myself to do that, the more it really does evolve for me. Um, writing is an incredible outlet for myself. Um, it's something that has been a, uh, a tool for healing for me. And I'm just really enjoying it. Um, not just... Basically, like, allowing it to just, you know do what it needs to do for me. Because the more I write, the more I realize just how much I haven't really explored in my subconscious, in, you know, everything that I have repressed. I have repressed a lot. I really have. There's a lot of, um, actually... <laughs> This is very interesting, now that I'm talking about uh, repression, um, emotional repression. Um, you know, looking at, uh, what is it, fight, flight, freeze, or shut down, or fawn. Fawn is, you know, uh, to um, appease, to people please. The amount of times that I have actually, um, you know, f uh, shut down in life, which is, you know, freezing... What I realize is that there are times, w <laughs> it usually happens when somebody says something to me that literally just shocks the shit out of me. Like, I'm, I'm so, like, absurdly baffled that, like, it's almost as if, like, I'm like, is this really happening right now? Is this person really saying this? Th like, like, those are the times that, like, I shut down the most, and it's like... I, I have an entire, you know, world of things to say. An entire world of just, like, emotions to express. And quite oftentimes, the first thing that I want to say is, what the fuck? Right? Just, like, out of, like, I don't know. It's, like... Uh, out of everything that everyone has said to me, it kind of is weird to say this, but out of, like, everything that everyone has said to me, like, a majority of the things that people have said to me have just been like, what the fuck? You know, either because it's like you can't believe that they're saying, or I should say, either because I can't believe that they're saying it, or because it's just bullshit noise from un unsolicited advice, which I've gotten a lot in my life. Um, but yeah, I just, I found myself writing and stuff, and like, as I was writing, I just, I had, like, there were so many thoughts that were trying to, like, resist the writing process and everything. It's like, like, what is this gonna be? What are you writing? What are you doing? Oh, you know that people aren't going to like it if you say this. You know that they're not, you know that they're not going to like it if you say that. And just doing the best that I could to just allow myself to write was like, you know, it's kind of like, it's kind of like forgetting that, like, writing or that, like, a specific form of writing even exists. Like, it's like, it's like, write while forgetting what you thought, what, what you think everything is in terms of writing. Write like you're pretending that you don't even know. Like, it's like you're you're just like you're you're discovering for the first time 
there are no rules. There are no anything. There's there's no foundation. You don't have to worry about going left or right or up or down or this, that, and the other. Like, just... 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 Just right. And... I actually have a lot of repressed emotions. And... You know... Repressing emotions is very bad for, um, just, like, in, in general, like, people that, people please, right, that, uh, that, that, that fawn, that, um, that don't communicate as they actually need to, that don't express themselves as they need to, that don't say no when they need to, they're actually doing themselves more harm than good, um, I I learned that uh, we actually use a fuck ton of energy, like an out of this world amount of energy in childhood, to repress our emotions. That's a very real thing. It's uh it's wild to really like sit with and think about. Um, but it can lead to uh, disease and illness over the long term. So yeah, I've done my fair share of screaming my fucking brains out. Um, and. You know, I just I, I have every interest in further uh, continuing to explore what the fuck is going on in my mind because this is healing. This is where I am now, and it's quite awesome. <laughs> but you know, honestly, just uh, just 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 writing, just like allow like the more I heal, the more I realize that this process is really about just allowing whatever's there to just be there and to just sit with it and understand it and everything, right? Um, you know, I've, I've met people that want to control what I say, right? You know, even, even if it's just words like fuck and shit, no, I'm not going to stop saying that stuff. That is my boundary. I'm allowed to say that. Self-expression is a very big thing for, I would argue, everyone, right? It doesn't matter what it is that you're expressing, whether you're expressing how beautiful the fucking sky is, or you're expressing your love for, I don't know, religion, or like a god, or something like that, right? It's very interesting to me how much people want to control other people out there. And I know that I've said this in a past video, but the more you try to control people, the less authentic your experience with them is going to be. Authentically, you might not like your experience with them. They don't need to be in your life. But the last thing you want to do is control people. The last thing people want is to be controlled. Yeah, I mean, just that's just the reality of it. So yeah, I'm done repressing emotions. I'm done shutting the fuck down. And just like being lost in a universe of words that I could just say, No. You're not going to say that to me. You're not going to treat me like that. I am going to express myself. You're not going to control me. I am going to say whatever the fuck I want. Yeah, it's, it's, it's wild. It's completely wild. So, yeah, I was just very excited to um, have this moment of writing and just be with it. Because it was absolutely cool. It was, it was incredible. Um... And more of that stuff is going to um, present itself and everything. And the more that I just allow myself to really be in the creative process like that, just like just like writing without th that's another thing too. Like uh, this is actually what I would argue to be one of the most important aspects of this video: um, writing or expressing without judging. Previously, I would judge the heck out of myself. Of course, I learned that from somewhere. Not going to get into that in this video. But, um, yeah, just allowing myself to write, to express myself without judging myself. Yeah, once you get underneath that layer, there is just an undertone 
of just absolute stellar shit. It's incredible. And the more that I step away from judging myself and just allow myself to just write, just express, that's where the magic is.